So if you have seen this dreaded notification saying that your home bridge is not compatible with the Node.js and it needs an update, then in this video, I will show you how to do that in less than two minutes without pulling your hair out. Hello and welcome to my channel, which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Well, every now and then, there's a new node update for Homebridge, and that could be a major or minor or just a patch update. And keeping your Node.js version up to date is crucial for optimal Homebridge performance and compatibility with the latest plugins and features. And whether you're new to Homebridge or even a seasoned user, it's always a best practice to keep your Node.js version up to date and the same also applies to apps on your phone as well as other operating systems. Now do remember that Homebridge is built on and uses a lightweight Node.js server that you can run on your home network that emulates the iOS HomeKit AI. Now with every new Node update comes new features that can be adopted. If anything's broken, it can be fixed. And most importantly, if there are any security vulnerabilities, then they can be patched as well. That's why when you see in the logs or this icon that an update is there, you must and need to do it right away. And by the way, it only takes less than two minutes. Now in this video, I will show you how to update Node using a Raspberry Pi, a Mac, Docker, or a Synology NAS. And since I don't have a Windows machine, I will be going through the home bridge wiki page. And if you're running on a Windows machine, Please let me know in the comment section if that's the right way as well. However, before we go and update Node.js, this next part is purely FYI on how software numbering is. I'll do a quick rundown on what those numbers and dots mean. All right, this part is purely FYI on software versioning. And it typically follows a semantic versioning system, which is made up of three parts. The first part is major, so that's the first two digits, the first group. Then after the dot, you have the minor and the third one is just patches. So in this case, when we are going to update Node to its latest version, you'll always see a three part system. The first one is denoting the major release. So that would be 18, 19, 20, 21 and so forth. And then every incremental update to the major release. So that would be dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four. And then if there are any patches released to the entire operating system or the entire software, then there would be a patch, which is the last group. So always remember, your software releases follows a semantic versioning system, which is made up of three groups. Each group is a representative of major, a minor release, or a patch to the overall software. Now from here, we will go into updating Node for Windows PC. Now, if you're running a Windows PC, the first thing you want to do is you want to go and shut down the service. You want to stop the service before running the update. And then before running even the update, you want to go ahead and download the latest Node.js version. So it's more of a graphical um, installer instead of running any specific commands. So you go and download the latest version. Now you always want to go and download the one with the LTS, meaning long-term support. That major version, in this case version 20, will always support this software release. So once you've downloaded the latest version, for your operating system, in this case Windows, you want to go and stop the service. So you want to go click on the search icon below, open up node.js command prompt, run as administrator. And the first thing you want to do is you want to stop the service. So this way you will copy and paste this command, hp service stop. Now once the service is stopped, you can now go and safely run the installer. Now once the installer is completed, then you want to rebuild all of the node files. So you want to run this command, HP service rebuild. Once that's completed, you can go ahead and start the service. Give it a couple of seconds and Homebridge is running with the latest version. So every time there's a new minor or a patch, you can always run it this way by downloading the version from Node.js website. Now, please let me know in the comment section if that's the right way to do it. From here, we will go and update Node.js on a Mac. Now, in this case, We'll be using my computer right here, which is on Mac OS Sonoma. And this is the last version I'm running. Now, same way over here, I will always suggest using the download 
from Node.js. So we'll just go ahead and download this version. Once the download is completed, we can go ahead and open it. Now in this case, all you have to do is run this installer. So I'll hit continue, continue, agree, and install. Put in my password, close. We can move the installer to trash. Now for the service to pick up the latest version, all we have to do is hit on restart. You'll see that it's picked up the latest version. Now there is a possibility you could run the same thing from terminal, but in Mac OS, you don't get the terminal setting here. You have to open up terminal and then you can copy paste the commands right here, but it's not a lot necessary. Every time there's an update, go and download the pre-built installer is a lot more easier. Now from here, we'll go ahead and update node on a Raspberry Pi, which is a common device used for home bridge and with this same installer, we can even use it if you have a Docker container working independently on a hardware. So if you're using the ultimate smart home hub that I did with the Raspberry Pi 5, can I install Homebridge using Docker? With that, this is the same steps you can follow. Very simple, all you have to do is click on the three dots, go to terminal, and then you just want to copy this command right here, edge service space update node, and then you can hit enter and it'll install. It, but before we go and hit the install, we can even, if you want to go and search for a specific version, you can also put that value away. So you would go with the major, the major version. And if there is a minor denomination to that or minor value, you can put that. And then if there's a patch, you can pull the specific Node.js you're looking. But in this case, we just really want to go and update the system as is. So I'll just go ahead and hit enter. It will go ahead and automatically pull the latest version. So in this case, version 20. It's a major version, dot 12 is the minor, update to it and dot two is the patch release. Now, one good thing is when you run it through Docker or through a Raspberry Pi, it automatically rebuilds all the files. So in this case with a Raspberry Pi, all we're gonna go do is restart. So I will hit on power options. I will basically restart the entire OS. In Docker, all you have to do is stop the container and restart it again. And just like that, we have updated node to version 20.12.2 as of this recording, which is the same on my Mac OS Sonoma as well. And you will see the same values updated if you're running Homebridge through an independent Docker uh, system. So this way we've updated. Now, just in case, if things don't work on a Raspberry Pi, it doesn't update, you see any errors. Another way of doing it is to SSH into the server. And then you can go ahead and do it in sudo hbconfig. And then you can just go on this first line over here, hit enter, update not JS, and then it will go and do the same thing. But since now it's already detected that it has been updated. Now from here, we'll go to the next one is updating node using a Synology NAS. Now with the Synology NAS, things are a little bit complicated because there's not much you have control upon what software is released on the DSM platform. So in this case, you can only go with what's available in the uh, Sino community. So if you go to package center, you, you want to make sure you want to go to settings. And if you go to package sources, you want to add the Sino community and this location. I'll leave it in the description as well. Now, if you go to the community and look for node, you'll see that these are the versions that are available. So it's version 20. And you can uninstall any of the previous unless there's no dependency uh, with any application. So the version we got available as of today with Synology is 20.9.0. Unlike the other ones that we have is 20.12.2. So you'll always see that icon showing you that there is a update available. Now remember, as long as you're on the major version and have the closest patch, uh, closest minor version to it, you are good, so you, you can ignore this uh, error as long as you're updated to the closest minor version. There you have it, folks. In less than two minutes, you can now update Node.js to its latest version. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more DIY smart home videos. Until the next time, happy automating. Cheers.